everyone this is my first crochet tutorial I'm super excited to get to share this with you guys my best friend's mom when I was in the fourth grade took the time to teach me how to crochet so I'm really excited I get to show you something and today we're going to be making these super cute headbands that have an adorable bow on it and I love this pattern because it's super easy and you can make these really fast so first I'm going to go through the materials you'll need for this project Alright, I used this brand. I love this yarn. It is my absolute favorite yarn. It's medium weight. And I'll go ahead and tell you the exact colors that I used too for today's tutorial. Turquoise and the other one is linen. So I'm pretty sure you can only get this brand from Hobby Lobby. That's the only place I've seen it. But it says it's $3.99. But then, of course, they always have their 40% off coupon every time I've been there, so that really helps out a lot. So that's your yarn you'll need. Then your crochet hook. I use a an I 9mm hook. So there. Scissors, and then your darning needle. You can get these in plastic or metal, I'm pretty sure. I like the metal one, it's just more sturdy. Just make sure you get one where your yarn will fit through there that'll help you weave in your ends. Alright, so that's all the materials you're going to need and now we'll go ahead and get started with our tutorial. Okay, so to start out we're going to make our, I believe it's called a magic loop. Some people do it with their hands, but if you watch slowly I just do it with my crochet hook. That's how I was taught to do it. So now you're just going to chain there's no certain amount to chain. I'll post the links for like infants, zero to six months, six to 12 months, and so on up to adult. So you'll know the length of the headband for each size. But today I'm just going to make a headband for a small child. If you need to throughout this video, feel free to just pause it. All right, once you have your length chained, we're just going to go down the chain and try to keep it straight and then when you get to the other end flip it over and stick your crochet hook into the back loop of the chain then you're going to do a slip stitch and then chain one because that's going to be the height of your single crochet now in each back loop of every chain you're going to do a single crochet the looser you do your chain the easier this part will be I still have to use my nail most of the time to get it through that loop Like I said in the beginning, I really love this yarn. It's really soft, especially if you're going to be using this for an infant. And it's really stretchy, so that's really what you want in a headband. Some yarns are not stretchy at all. Just keep working in the back loop of your chains. Alright, when you get almost to the end, I'm going to show you what to do. So I have two more single crochets to do here. 
still going in the back loop of the chain. If this is my last single crochet I'm going to do, then I'm going to I'm going to stick my needle through the first single crochet and what I just did there was a slip stitch. All right, now you're going to measure out. I usually do a foot and a half to 2 feet of yarn to leave for the tail end and we're going to use that in a little bit to sew on your bow. Just pull that through there and pull it tight. Alright, so your short tail end that we started with, you're going to use your darning needle, thread that through there, and then your darning needle will be used to thread in the short tail end. So just pick up a few pieces of yarn through your stitches and try to weave it in there where it's not noticeable. Make sure you're weaving this on the inside of the headband so you won't be able to see it. So now that you have it weaved in there about an inch or two, get your scissors and cut off the excess yarn. Alright, flip it back to the right side, and there's your headband. Alright, now we're going to make the bow. So go ahead and start like you did before. Pull it to fit your hook. And right, now you're going to chain five. Once you chain five, Bring it around to the back loop of the first single crochet and do a slip stitch. And that will give us a loop that we're going to be working in to do both sides of the bow. So now chain four, turn your work, and now we're going to do a treble stitch. So you're after the yarn around your hook twice, pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. That's your treble stitch. Alright, we're going to do five of these for each side of the bow. So that's one, there's your second treble crochet. Yarn over twice, into the main loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two again. Just repeat this process until you have your four chained and then five treble crochets. We're going to have four. This will be our fifth treble stitch. Alright, once you have your five treble crochets, chain four. Then you're going to do a slip stitch into the main loop. Alright, now I'm going to speed it up a little bit for the other side of the bow, but you're going to do the same exact thing. Chain four, and then do five treble crochets like you just did.
you need to to keep them evenly spread out just you'll see I keep moving over each stitch Right, so you have your five treble crochet, chain four, and then do a slip stitch into the main loop. Alright, so you're done with all the stitches you're going to do for this bow. Now again, measure out about two feet of yarn, and then cut your yarn off. So get your hook and pull the yarn through to tie it off and then pull that tight. So try to adjust your stitches so they're evenly spread out. Take your long yarn tail end, try to hold the short tail end out of the way you don't need to worry too much about it and just start loosely wrapping your long tail end around now you're trying to cover up the main loop that we were working in Try to keep your yarn straight so the bow looks really neat. Also try to keep the thickness of where you're wrapping even on both sides. So I started in the middle and then I went over to the right, came back over to the left, so then I'll wrap back into the middle just so it looks even. Alright, once you've done all the wrapping that you want, flip your bow over. I had a lot of extra here, but it's better to have extra than not enough. Just going to trim off some of this excess yarn to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to get my darning needle, thread the yarn through it, make sure you pull it tight. You can keep adjusting your bow. Alright, in the back side of the bow, stick your darning needle through the wrapped yarn. That's just going to keep it secure. Make sure you pull it through to the side where your short tail end is sticking out so you can tie the knot. This is just going to hold it in place. I like to tie two knots.
All right, now that you have your two talons knotted together, we're going to weave them in, weave them in back up under the wrapped yarn. Sometimes my nails are long, I can use them to get the yarn through the needle, but you can put it through the needle with the end if you need to. Alright, so just thread that up under your wrapped yarn. That's just going to hide your tail end so we can cut it short. Now you can trim those ends off. Alright, so there's your bow. Just adjust it how you like. Alright, now that we have our bow and our headband made, we're almost finished and we're ready to attach the bow to the headband. Thread your long tail end from your headband onto the darning needle. Situate your bow where you want it to be on the headband. Then you're going to flip your headband inside out with the bow on the inside in place. So to stick your darning needle through the headband and under all of the wrapped yarn from your bow. Pull it tight and then I'm going to go through there one more time and do the same thing. Through the headband and then under the wrapped yarn one more time. Now to tie off my tail end, I'm going to pick up a loop of yarn that's close by and make a knot through there. Now you're ready to weave in the tail end. Pull your tail end through. Then you can trim off the excess yarn. Right now we are all done with our headband. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more crochet tutorials. If you made this headband today, feel free to post a picture below. I'd love to see what you made. I'll see you next time.